When we plan trip within California, Sacramento usually doesn't make the list. It's capital, we assume we know it, but we really don't. If you want to know California, you've got to know Sacramento. And I'll show you why, but first please like, subscribe, and share this video with your friends. I travel to different states of the United States and explore nature, life, and culture of each destination and share my experiences with you. And the goal is to explore all 50 states. And now, let's go to the capital. Sacramento is set in a valley with two rivers running through it, Sacramento and San Joaquin rivers. It is prime farmland, but also it is land that is prone to disasters. Rivers would periodically flood the area. Summers are hot and dry, so fires are not strangers here. But nevertheless, Sacramento was chosen to be capital of California in part because it is as old as California and a lot of history was made here. Of course, it's California and for legislators, it took five years to decide on Sacramento to be a capital of California. At the same time, in the course of history, was five years. So the story of this beautiful capital building pretty much summarizes how things roll here. When Sacramento was established as the capital of California, architect Ruben Clark presented the design and architectural plan and because legislators could not agree on budget and location of the building, they took four years to establish committees that would be overseeing the project. Then they decided to create a competition for more architects, but there were some complications arose and the very same Ruben Clark ended up working on the design. So it took 14 years and several administrations to complete the project. Floods and political fights, which railroad to use and which stone to use, and I'm sure lobbying was in a full swing. If you look at the western facade of the Capitol, you will see two different type of granites because of it. Unfortunately, halfway through the project, Ruben Clark was committed to a mental hospital and as part of the hospital file, it did say that his insanity was caused by him overseeing the building of the Capitol. So if you ever wonder how is that in California building freeways takes decades, nothing really changed in the last 150 years. The capital has a circular ground plan, a rotunda that is covered by a dome, and it was borrowed from Romans, and there's something so majestic about it. After a very grand entrance, you go upstairs to view the Senate floor, and you will see such beautiful neoclassical details of handrails and lamps. There's also a gallery of portraits of all governors of California. A bunch of people are passing and I have no idea who they are. So bad, I don't know how many of our local assemblymen and senators. I should. <laughs> yes, my state is my home and they run my state, make choice for my family. I should know who they are and cast an informed vote. This was beautiful and I have to say, well, here's my fresh takeaway. When I was inside, I spoke to a few people. They were very, very receptive to uh, people from, you know, from the streets. So one of the guys started actually explaining to me the um, what what any of those things represent, the paintings and some details. And uh, he was speaking about capital with such pride and love, love and respect for what it represents and its history and its value. The Senate floor is quite fancy, has beautiful red carpet, and here's a big painting of George Washington as a representative of High Street. And the assembly floor is a green carpet and a painting of Abraham Lincoln as a representative of Main Street, so I thought that was kind of neat. Today was the last day in session and until January, they're gonna leave Capitol. And I was like, oh, well, that's nice. It's only September, right? And, um, but he, and he had no agenda, you know, 
I don't know who he is and he basically started explaining to me how no 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 all these people are going back to their districts and they work a lot at the expense of their family time and it's true on both sides and things are moving quite slowly here but in the course of history it's probably a flash building this capital was a long and slow process but look at it now I often forget to look at things from this angle the country is huge and people are so diverse and uh, it's really hard to appease everybody so they have a lot to balance and push their agendas forward and I want to believe that this is true I know that once I open my Twitter account and start scrolling through it I'll probably be like nah nah but I do think that I want to remember the feeling that I had after I left the capital today. The more meaningful part of capital is State Capital Park, mainly because it really is not about politicians but about people. It is unexpectedly peaceful, partially because the landscape and beautiful trees that give you relief from scorching sun, and partially because there are many really good war memorials and monuments here that give you that special sense of peace. There's something very human about politics. We push forward an honorable agenda and then if we don't get challenged, we, uh, we get corrupt, we create a mess, a lot of pain and suffering that could have easily been avoided, and then we try to correct it. We mourn, we get together, we fix everything, we start pushing honorable agenda forward, and then the circle is goes all over again and I honestly think that this Capital State Park which is a wonderful park it reflects that a lot there are quite a few beautiful memorials here for Spanish War for Vietnam War for Civil War for all devastating wars and disasters California has been through until now did you know that since 1850, ever since California has been established, about 5 million Californians served in the U.S. Army? The most visited memorial is Vietnam War Memorial, and it was built by a Vietnam veteran. 350,000 Californians served in Vietnam. These rings symbolize circle of life, and this outside ring has 22 black granite panels engraved with names of almost 6,000 Californians who died in the war. This park is beautifully designed. There's such a nice harmony between nature and life and history in this park. In the Capitol Park, they have 800 trees, shrubs and flowers, tons of varieties of rare plants from nearly every continent and climate around the world. When people started moving to Sacramento, during summers, it's hot and dry and there was no relief because there was no trees. So people, when they were moving from different countries, started bringing their trees with them. And because this area has two rivers, some of the trees bloomed even better than in their native habitat. I do think that we entered a new era uh, of a lot information and a lot of misinformation and we all get frustrated and angry but at the same time our frustration and anger comes from the same place from the place of love for our capital we all want our capital to succeed and in the end this is what's going to eventually unite us and we may have different ideas on how to get things done but once we stop listening to manipulators who divide us for personal gain we will find our common grounds. And this is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please like the video if you liked it, subscribe and share this uh, channel with your friends and follow me on Instagram, here's my handle. I have all the links in the description box below and links to the videos that we shot here in Sacramento. They're all a lot of fun, so please check it out. And once again, Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next video.